What's going on everybody? Uh, got a leg day today. Uh, I'm going to show you guys what I would make for breakfast if it wasn't just going to be a protein shake. Uh, again, same things with the carbs and proteins. Basically, just try to involve that in every pre-workout meal. Um, I'm not that good at relaying information, but there's a video done by Generation Iron on, I think it's straight facts or everything you need to know, carbs and bodybuilding. And the guy says real well the importance of it and what it'll do. So I'll give that video a look if you want to know more about that. But yeah, I'll show you guys what I cook. So today, not really cooking much, just a little bit different type of meal, but I'll have three eggs and I'll just whip up a fruit smoothie again in the blender. I got some frozen fruit, so I'll just throw it in there. don't really need any ice, but frozen fruit and milk. And yeah, that's it. But, uh... So this is just from that little breakfast. I don't know if you can see that or it's gonna be backwards, but 400 calories, 17 fat, 40 carbs, 27 protein. So not bad and very simple, they're just eggs and berries. So you guys saw me flip those eggs and one of them, the eggs, or they were all cracked before, but that might have been the best time I've ever cooked eggs. I'm surprised. And I'm also happy. Here we go. So the last couple days I've been just using coffee as my pre-workout. Considering today's a leg day, I will use actual pre-workout. And... Yeah, I'll uh, see you guys at the gym. All right, so to start off with like a five minute walk and then do uh, some dynamic stretching before we go into our hack squat to start the day. It's an interest pose. Yeah, where I got the film on the road. And I saw that, would you want some Gucci shoes or that stupid Toyota or whatever? Toyota? Yeah. Toyota. Yeah, it's not weird. I've never heard I've that. I've actually heard that First a lot. First time I've ever heard it. It's a dynamic warm-up. I'll just literally, uh, like, like, right? And I'll do this, and I'll do both legs. So let's start with this lightweight, like, 12 plus reps, just warming up. Getting the legs in this far working sense. That's for our working sets, and then I don't know, probably do three sets from like five day reps. Yeah, so just finished first working set. I had to play it on each side, or maybe just eight reps. I'll probably go up and probably film the last working set. And yeah, so last working set, I got a play in a 25 on week, but it feels good. Felt good, but didn't look good. We'll go to leg press next. 
So, Ryan's, uh, <laughs> Ryan's last working out here. Let's see what he's got. Good set. So now we're going to a leg press, a little bit higher volume. That's probably the only thing we'll probably do under 10 reps for us a day. But I'll go to leg press and maybe one warm up set. And then we'll do like three to four sets, 10 plus reps. That TikTok song, Boss It or whatever, oh, yeah. that started playing in my ear. Did it get you going? <laughs> yeah, actually, it reminds me of the TikToks. <laughs> Um, so like for us, we'll do like a warm up set or two just to feel the weight. Not really warm up necessarily, just feel the weight to get into our working sets. Nothing heavy, just feel the weight like I said, for like a set or two and then get into the working sets. So I'm just going machine like presses today, so I like this, so I want to have a good one. Three plates on 25 for the first weight set, see how that feels. All these on here is close to Colin, you're slacking. <laughs> Alright, and then on this uh, single leg leg press. Um, just probably like 20 reps. Single leg? Is your working set? Yeah, so failure or as close as you can without snapping your leg. Hoodie tray? that one. I'll try and stay at the get 10 to 12 again without passing out. <laughs> so stay with the same weight. Only got 10 reps. Last one we're just gonna go three plates aside and oh, do a little drop set so as much as you can with three plates, two plates, one plate. And that's tough. We'll be burning at the end. It's a long set. Got enough people to take up the weight so we'll just set up the camera where you can see it. And Colin's talking about <laughs> hand. It's not gonna be hard, so I'm gonna focus on doing that. So now we're going to that strap set, and you'll see that. So, in between each of them, we just took like three big deep breaths, and I'm right, by, right back into it, but here Colin's gonna go. Try and get 10 plus of each, or 10, 10, 10. Or 15, 12, 10. Or like 50, 40, 30? Yeah. Get all the way up here. So, I don't know what we're gonna go into next, but I'll show you guys that when we get there. So, go to the lion hamstring curl, probably like three sets, 12 plus reps, failure, pretty close to it. Yeah, I was like, 
traps. Last couple, try and get them really slow and controlled, really slow on the way down. Really tear that muscle on the eccentric, right? Eccentric down. Okay. And then, yeah, we'll do two more sets of that. I'll show you guys a little tip or trick to do to uh, help squeeze the hammers on this, but here's Ryan Ryan's working set. I'll show you guys what I mean when I start doing my set. So I learned this from uh, Will Tennyson. Oh, that's Basically, that's uh, when you do this, relax like these this toes and do from, like as many as 10, 10 to 12. And like it's harder than your dorsal flex. Keep it tight and do like that. Like 10 to 12 maybe. Get up all the way, just do a couple half reps. Get up as far as you can, it'll help burn out the muscle. Tear. So now we're going to this quad extension, probably three or four sets, and the fourth set being a drop set. So, you guys lose like. Trying to get the outside, turn your toes in. Hit the outside level, trying to get this part, turn your toes out. I just keep my toes straight, I don't really worry about it, but 12 plus reps on those too. So well, Khan has way bigger legs than me, as you can see, so he's just doing one more plate he's such a beast. Hot tough boy. So last set, uh, just do a little drop set so as many as you can with whatever you got. If you only can do 225s, whatever, just take off 25, whatever you got, to, two plates. So just do two plates, take it off, and die here, and then finish up there. Really control the last couple, go slow on the way down when you can barely get up. Go slow on the down so you can really tear that muscle. Up. So I forgot about it, but at the end, just do a couple half reps again. When you can't get all the way up, just do a couple half reps and you'll feel the burn up at the higher a little bit more. So another variation of hamstring curls, and then we'll do uh, another exercise after this, probably some calf raises. But I'll just show you one of the working sets here, and then I'll show you one of the working sets of calves, and then we'll do abs at the end. So last one, calf machine. I know everyone skips calves. I do too sometimes, but. It's all natural genetics. It's true. Yeah. I want to do the whole thing. Until you start burning, do them quick, and then at the bottom, you saw I did a little half reps at the bottom. Do two more sets of that, and then we'll go to abs again. Yeah, so we got to the end of the workout and actually decided we don't want to do abs. So 
that's it for the workout and we'll see what else I filmed today. So again, wait. So 160 again, uh, only had those eggs this morning, so early morning way in again. But yeah, I'll show you guys what I have for a protein shake after my workout. So I'll show you guys the protein shake that I've been doing the last couple months after uh, every single workout. So, no about whatever amount of milk, scoop and a half protein, some creatine, about five grams, which is about a spoonful. A spoon here. Do like three or four ice cubes, a spoonful of reduced fat peanut butter. And yeah, that's it. I'm gonna scrape the sides of those because it gets stuck. So yeah, try that protein shake out. It's pretty good, uh, easy to make, but Another thing I wanted to get to at the end of this video is just, if you haven't realized when I talk, I mumble, and my thoughts definitely are going faster than the words that are coming out of my mouth. So again, it's another reason why I'm doing this camera thing, just trying to get better with those types of things. I know I talk fast, I know I mumble, I know I say words that probably don't even sound like words, but again, just trying to work on that. And yeah, I think that might be it for the video. Peace.